libro do Shkizalagadia. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Life. Glory be to God, hallelujah, glory be to God. I want to welcome every one of you watching this live stream, this live broadcast from the River Anointing Studios, hallelujah. I want to assure you, you are in the right place and your time has come. Your time of lifting, your time of breakthrough, your time of expansion, your time of deliverance, your time of salvation has come. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Lord, we give you all the glory. Can you shake your neighbor? Anyone sitting around you, tell that person, welcome. 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 Welcome to your moment of supernatural lifting. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord Jesus. God is faithful. God is faithful. God is faithful. Lord, we give you all the praise. We worship you. Hallelujah. Right now, I'm going to go into a few, a, a short moment, a brief moment of worship. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Wherever you are watching me, in the name of Jesus. I want you to be in the spirit. Make sure you share this broadcast. Share it. Share it. God is about to do something mighty in our lives. Make sure you share the broadcast. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Manembre elekush ikaradash Zimombre le diagash Zada da 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 Shagada gadia Gibrodo supredia Gibarada shiagada Rebalabada badigada yagada Rapalagada shigazada dia Be in the spirit, be in the spirit Open your mouth and begin to worship him Worship him in the beauty of holiness Rekada la bradosh kibradia Gibroko shikradia Manembre gizo predia, ria balagada shakata labadosia. Lord, we worship you. We give you all the glory. We give you all the glory. We give you all the praise. Reba kasha diaga, libro subrele diaga, zaza da da di gazabadia, riba lagada yagada, riba lagada yagada, kibrogo sutaliaga shiagada, alagada yagada. E bareko su triliagash, riamande ko su predea, ma zizu i banien diogo si pradia, barakata laba shalagadia, ria balagada yagada. Lord, we worship you. We give you all the glory. Alagadi brodo su predea, e manim bradia. Awesome God. How great thou art, you are Lord and might, are your miracles, are standing all of your holy name, Lord we bow. Oh, and worship Awesome God Awesome God How great thou art You are Lord and mighty are your miracles I stand in awe I stand in awe of your holy name Lord we bow Lord we bow we bow and worship you Awesome God, awesome God, 
awesome God. How great the world you are Lord and mighty I am miracles I stand in all I stand in all oh, holy name Lord we bow we bow and worship you, Lord. We bow. Lord, we bow. We bow and worship you, Lord. We bow. Lord, we bow. We bow and worship. Awesome God, awesome God, we lift our hands in worship, awesome God, awesome God. Awesome God, we lift our hands in worship. Awesome God, awesome God, awesome God, awesome God. Awesome God, awesome God, awesome God, we lift our hands in worship, awesome God. We lift the hands in worship, awesome God. Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahweh. Yahweh, you are glorious, so glorious in your ways. You are glorious, so glorious in your ways. You are glorious. You are glorious, so glorious in your ways. You are glorious, you are so glorious in your ways. Yahweh. So glorious in your being. You are glorious. You are glorious. So glorious in your being. You are beautiful. You are beautiful. So beautiful in your being. 
You are beautiful. You are beautiful. So beautiful in your ways. Lord, I worship you. Shalabadia, like the name of the Lord. No other name, no other name, like the name of Jesus. He is worthy of glory. He is worthy of honor. He is worthy of power and of praise. No other name, no other name, what a name. 
like the name of Jesus, no other name. Somebody wave your hands and worship it. Worship it. Like the name of the Lord, no other name. No other name. No like the name of Jesus. Oh, his word, glory. His word, for no. His word, of power and of You are incredible, God. Incredible, God. Incredible, God. You are, you are, you are. You're an incredible, God. Incredible God, incredible God, you are, you are, you are, you're an incredible God, incredible God. Incredible God, incredible God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Somebody open your mouth and worship Him. Open your mouth and worship Him. Worship Him. He is wonderful. He is beautiful. Beyond description. Manandra la kadeko shikaradash. Rala da la ba da la kasha de go sufrede. Reba la da da yata. Open your mouth and worship him. He is worthy of all our praise. He is worthy of all our praise. Reka la di yaman ziada. Karash ki zolo grenende. Gibronon zi kalada. Raka talabadosh. Leku zelebeledia. Manembre le diaga shiaga. Katina zozia. Ezo de beledia. Kibarada shikarada. Kibarada shikarada. Rapala de akazalia. Kimo zelebediaga. Parakush ekrede. Lord, we worship you. We give you all the glory. We thank you for this hour. Rakaba shadia. In the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible said in the book of Matthew chapter 6, verse 33, it says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, we are going to pray. Whatever is making you not to seek after God, what is bringing hardship, what is bringing poverty, is when we neglect what Jesus has commanded. He said, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. He says, all these things that the Gentiles seek shall be added unto you. Is somebody getting me? When we take our rightful place in seeking God, we will lack nothing. The plan of the enemy is to distract you to seek other things instead of God. We are going to pray this morning. Whatever is making me not to seek after God, whatever is distracting me from not seeking after God, as I begin to pray now, let it catch fire. Let it catch fire. Let it catch fire. In the name of Jesus. Say, my father, my father. As I begin to pray now, every power from the pit of hell distracting me 
from seeking God, from seeking his righteousness, as I begin to pray now, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire, in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to fire prayer. Rabada bada bada bada, rada la bade baraga da gada, rabada gada, rabada gada, rabada gada, kibrada shalagadia. Whatever is making you, everyone watching your line, whatever is making you not to seek after God, not to seek after His righteousness, le garagada, rabada bada, gibaragada ya, le brodo sukadia, le bredia, le bredia, shi balagada, rabadea, let them catch fire. Let them catch fire. Let them catch fire. Let them catch fire. Everything bringing distraction in my life, stopping me from seeking the kingdom of God and his righteousness. As I begin to pray now, catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. Rakata labada. Shaba labadia. Bringing distractions to my life. When I'm about to move forward, distraction will come. When I'm about to enter another dimension with God, distraction will come. Le kradaba shadia. Rebaladada, shakata, radada, radada, lebrevia. Let it catch fire. 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 Ebaragada yagadaba. In the mighty name of Jesus, we are going to pray. Whatever Satan has used to tie me, to connect me to himself, that is giving him the opportunity to control my life, to control the affairs of my life. As I begin to pray now, let that chain catch fire. Let that chain break off. That thing that the enemy has used to connect me to himself, to control my life, to control my destiny. As I begin to pray, let it break off. Let it break off. By the fire of the Holy Ghost, by the power of the Holy Ghost, let it break off. Let it break off. In the name of Jesus, I release the hammer of God on it. That satanic chain. Let it begin to break now. Open your mouth and pray. Whatever the enemy have used to connect me to himself, to connect you to himself, to control your life, to control the affairs of your life, to control your destiny. In the name of Jesus, let it begin to break now. Let it begin to break now. Let it begin to break now. Rabadabada. Shakata lagada. Shakata lagada. Rebalagada. Zabadi gada. Jabada gada. Radada. Radagada. Break, 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 break. Break over my life. 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 Rabadabada. 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 Le brigadia. 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 Le Shiagada, Labadia, Bredia, Membredia, Lebradia, Paragosia, 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 Ibarada, Ibarada, Labregadaya, Labregadaya, Rabadabada, 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 Gibaragada, Libregadiagada, 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 Labregadaya, Rabalagada, Shadadia, Shadadea, 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 Mazodo, Mazodo, Eberedia, Eberedia, Eberedia. Eberedia, Arabalagada, 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 Ebragadia, Ebaradosia. In the mighty name of Jesus. Right now you're going to speak over your life. Every blessing, every open door that God has given me access to. The Bible says in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 16, verse 9. It says, a door and effectual is open unto me. And there are many adversaries. The work of the adversary is to stop you from accessing the door, the blessings that God has ordained for you. Is somebody get what I'm saying? Is somebody get what I'm saying? Lift up your right hand on fire. Say, My Father, my Father. My Father. As I begin to pray now, every adversary sent against me, sent against my new level, sent against my promotion, sent against my breakthrough. As I begin to pray now, I release the sword of the spirit against you. I cut you in pieces. I cut you in pieces. I cut you in pieces. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to declare. Open your mouth and declare. Release the sword of the spirit against every adversary. Sent against your new level. Sent against your new level. 
Sin against your advancement. Sin against your lifting. Sin against your promotion. Sin against your rising. Open your mouth and declare. Declare. In the name of Jesus. Let the thunder of God strike them down. In the name of Jesus. Revalagadaya. Shabalagada. Revalagadaya. I don't care where they are coming from. In the name of Jesus. Their time is up. In the name of Jesus. I must access that blessing, that open door that God has given to me. In the name of Jesus. Every power from the pit of air sent to stop me from making advancement in my life, in every area of my life, in my finances, in my business, in my career, in my destiny, in my ministry. As I begin to pray now, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Rabadabada, ragadagadaya, ragadada, shadada, 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 rabada, elebredia, elebredia, baragada yagada, baragada yagada, baragada yagada, likote lidia, liabadadia, 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 kibaragadaya, 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 rabadabadabada, shakatala badosia. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. We give you all the glory. Begin to prophesy breakthrough upon your life. Prophesy breakthrough. Prophesy lifting. Prophesy open doors. Step into my open door. In the name of Jesus, I step into my open doors. I step into my breakthrough. I step into my appointment. I step into my promotion. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth. Open your mouth and begin to declare. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Open your mouth and declare. I step into my breakthrough. I step into my lifting. I step into my open doors. In the name of Jesus. La da 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 my open heaven, I declare my heavens are open, my heavens are open, my doors are open in the name of Jesus. No more barrier, no more blockade in the name of Jesus. Rabba Labadia, Rabba Labadia, Rabba Labadia, Rabba Labadia. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Lord we give you all the glory. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Lord, we give you all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name. I prophesy over your life. Your doors are open. In the name of Jesus. Whatever was stolen from you, receive it now. We retrieve it by fire. We retrieve it by fire. We retrieve it by fire. In the name of Jesus. Whatever was taken from you unjustly, in the name of Jesus, we retrieve it back by fire. In the name of Jesus. Your job, your promotion, your lifting, your breakthrough, your marriage, your finances. In the name of Jesus, I decree restoration, restoration, restoration upon your life, upon your life, upon your life. Receive it in the mighty name of Jesus. I release fire against every power, stopping your new level, stopping your next level. In the name of Jesus, every power, every generational cause working against your life, in the name of Jesus, they are hereby terminated by the power of the blood of Jesus. I speak the blood of Jesus over your life, over your destiny. I speak the blood, the blood that speak better thing than the blood of Abel against your life. I speak the blood of Jesus over your life, over your destiny, over everything that concerns you, your finance, in the name of Jesus. Your time has come for lifting, for breakthrough, in the name of Jesus. You are blessed. You are blessed. You are blessed. You are blessed. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Everyone online, on Facebook or YouTube, shout a big amen. amen. Type a big amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. It is done. In Jesus' name. Amen. You shall come back with a testimony. Amen. I say you shall come back with a testimony. Amen. I say you shall come back with a testimony. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Put your hands together for Jesus. Put your hands together for Jesus.
Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Today, briefly, I want to share with us what I titled The Secret of the Kingdom. Someone said The Secret of the Kingdom. The secret of the kingdom of God. <clears throat> the secret of the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. It is very important that as children of God, we understand where we are. You understand, as a child of God, the kingdom you have found yourself. When you lack this understanding, a lot of things will be difficult. When you don't know what the kingdom is, the secret, the integrity of a thing, abuse is inevitable. They say when the value of a thing is not known, abuse is inevitable. Praise God. Secrets are workable mechanism of anything. Secrets is the hidden part. Secret is the hidden part of anything that is not visible or open to everyone. Hallelujah. When they say secret is the hidden part of anything that is not visible or open to everyone. Please, if you're watching me online, get your paper and your pen and write as I am led by the Spirit. Praise God. Now, every place, everything you see in life have a secret. Secret can also you can say it is the workable mechanism of anything. The workable mechanism. What makes anything work? It is the secret. Is somebody getting me? When you understand the secret then you have won why do you need the secret of anything the secret is what helps you the secret is the the the, the code the code the code the code the secret is the code. With the secret, you can 
manipulate the system. When you understand the secret of anything, you have the ability to manipulate the system to your favor. When you discover when you discover the secret of anything, you have the ability to manipulate the system in your favor. When you discover the secret of anything, you have the ability to manipulate the system in your favor. Why? Because you now know what that thing, the stuff, that thing is made of. The stuff that thing is made of. Now listen. When you know the secret of water, you can manipulate water in your favor. Is somebody getting me? Even God, when you know the secret of God, you can manipulate God in your favor. Is somebody getting me? God has a secret. And that secret is what is this, called the secret of the kingdom. It is clear in the scriptures. With the secret of the kingdom, you can manipulate God. And God will begin to work in your favor. Now, let me tell you something. Listen. Are we all equal before God? Are we all equal before God? Yes. Okay. But do you know that some people are more favored by God than some than other people? How come some people are more favored than others? The, 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 the truth is that there are people that are operating the secret of God. Now listen. When the Israelites went to Jericho and they marched around Jericho, how come the whole of Jericho, everybody perished, but only one lady and her family did not perish. Everybody was slaughtered. But only one lady and her family was not slaughtered. How come? The prostitute, what is her name? Rahab. It was only her that was spared. And yet, every other person was killed in the whole of the city. What happened? Somebody said she manipulated the secret. She manipulated the kingdom. She discovered the secret of God's kingdom. And what happened? It worked in her favor. Everybody is important, but there are some people that are more favored. There are some people that are more important than others. When you discover the secret of God's kingdom, you'll be more important than others. Listen. There are people, listen. Psalm 91, he said, A thousand shall fall by thy side, and ten thousand by thy right hand, but it shall not come near thee. Is it that the people, the thousand falling at, their, at your side, and ten thousand at your right hand, is it that they are not important? So, how come they are falling, but you, nothing is happening to you? Is it because you are more 
beautiful than them or what? It is because those that have discovered the secret of God's kingdom become more valuable in sight of God. And that is what I want to show you now. When you know this secret, you become more valuable. 100 people can die in your environment, yet nothing will happen to you. There are people that have that we are involved in an accident. Are you getting me? I heard a testimony that shocked me. An accident happened. The car was squeezed. Something took the guy out of the car and kept him by the side of the road, close to the car that the accident happened. People were rushing to come and assist to rescue the people that were dying. He, he was outside the vehicle, looking at the vehicle. Asking himself, but I was inside this vehicle. How come I'm standing here? How come? It's like a dream to him. The same vehicle that people are dying. He's standing outside looking at them, looking at the people, and he's alive without a scratch. With his belonging, not just him, with his belonging, his bag. There are some things that you will hear and you'll be wondering, say, which can God be this? Listen. Don't try to make uh, uh, make everyone happy. Your focus, your focus should be you and God. That's why the Bible said, a thousand shall fall at your side and ten thousand by your right hand. <clears throat> but it shall not come near you. Why? Because you dwell in the secret place of the Most High. Is somebody getting me? I want to show you the secret of the kingdom. When you know what I'm talking about, your life will change. So, is somebody getting what I'm saying? Yes. When you discover the secret of God's kingdom, your life becomes a mystery. People look at you and they cannot phantom what, how come, what is going on in the life of this person. With all that is going on, all the batching here and there, all the attacks here and there, this guy seems not to be affected. What is the problem? What is the secret of this guy? What is the secret of this lady? People will be wondering until one day they will come and meet you and say, Oga, madam, please, there is something that, that has been troubling me that I want to find out. With all these things that is going on, it's as if you are not part of, you are not in this world, but you are in this world. Tell me, what is, what is your secret? They will ask you. Why? Because you have discovered. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Libro kosh i karada shadia. Libra li granosh e keredia shadia. Le ku zepelia. Now, thank you, Lord Jesus. Rabba Lagadia. Let's look at Psalm 91 from verse 1. We'll see a few things here. Psalm 91, verse 1. Psalm 91, verse 1. If you're online watching me, 
If you are online watching me, go to your Bible, Psalms 91 verse 1. It says, he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God. In him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers and under his wings shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Verse 5. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flyeth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasted at noonday. He said, you shall not be afraid. Verse 7, a thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come near thee. Only with thine eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High, thy habitation. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Now, when you read the Bible, you must look deeply. Look every word, word for word. And you will discover the secret. Don't just read the Bible like, like a book. Read it word for word. Now, look at all the blessings that come are embedded in chapter 1 and chapter 9. I mean, verse 1 and verse 9. He said, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Now, listen. The first secret of God's kingdom is number one. The secret of the kingdom of God Number one, discover the secret place. Discover the secret place. Many people, the Bible says, a thousand shall fall at thy side, and 10,000 at thy right hand, or it shall not come near you. When you discover the secret place, he says, he that dwelleth in the secret place, I think I've thought about the secret place before. How many of you still remember what I talked about the secret place? I talked about the secret place some time ago. Calabrados Ibredia. Libra la casha de broco supredia. When you discover the secret place, you have discovered the, one of the secrets of the kingdom. I told you. God will need to give me, uh, bring me back because when I was teaching, I didn't write those things anywhere. I didn't write those things anywhere. The secret place. Thank you, Lord Jesus. The secret place is the place of relationship. Someone say relationship. 
Someone say relationship. relationship. When you build a robust relationship with God, you become untouchable. The secret place, when you discover it, you have discovered the secret of God. There is nobody that has a personal relationship with God that God overlooks. Is somebody getting me? That's why the Bible said, verse 9, Psalm 91. It said, because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high, thy habitation, thy habitation, where you live, your natural habitat, you have, you have made up your mind, Father, no matter what, I'm not leaving you. Whether I fall, whether I rise, whether I have food to eat or not, it is you and you alone. Anyone that has come to that point of decision, you have discovered the secret of God, the secret of God's kingdom. There are people that they serve God based on convenience. If things are not working, they begin to consider, maybe I should go to the other religion. Business is not working. The other religion, other religions, they, 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 are, they are people who can give you money. Let me go there. You have not discovered a secret place. You have not discovered. That is why you have one leg in, one leg out. Every day you are contemplating. You are a child of God when things are going well. Immediately things begin to go somehow. You begin to consider your salvation. For people like that, you have not discovered the secret place. You can never make impact like that. These are the kind of people that when, when they go and get stuff, when God needs to, 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 to prune, to let go certain people, he lets go of such kind of people because they, are not, they don't have value in the kingdom. Is somebody getting me? The people that have value in God's kingdom are the people that stick with God, whether the going is good or not. Whether everything is fine or not. Whether they have food to eat or not. Whether they have where to sleep or not. They have resigned. They say, God, it is you in the morning. It is you in the afternoon. It is you in the evening. It is you in the night. Is somebody gets me. When God finds such kind of people, God never leaves them. God can allow a thousand people go down because of that person. Look at the scripture, verse 9. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high thy habitation. Verse 7, he said, there shall no evil before thee. Neither shall any plague come near thy dwelling. Why? Because you have made the Lord your refuge. How much do you trust God? Is somebody getting me? How much? The reason why Apostle Paul is one of God's Champions is because even in the midst of death, even in the midst of death, Apostle Paul was forging ahead. He said, To live is Christ, to die is gain. For him, if he dies, it is a gain to him. But for the sake of Christ, let him live. For the sake of Christ, let him live. He is no longer living because of himself. 
He said, the reason why I am alive right now is not because I, I want to be alive. No. I'm already there. I'm already with God. What you are seeing is just the body. I've already, I'm already gone. The reason why you can see me breathing is because of Christ, the work that God, uh, Christ wants me to finish. There are a few places I need to go. There are a few souls I still need to win. That's why I'm here. I have no reason to be here. Did somebody get what I'm saying? That is, that when God sees those kind of people, he, he does not play with them. You become in, in, invaluable in the sight of God. Your relationship is not affected. Your salvation is not affected by your income. Is somebody gets in me. There are people today, immediately things, they, they, are, they lose their job. They begin to ask God, God, are you still alive? So God, God is no longer alive because you lost your job. Father, are you still on the throne? Did you dethrone him? Just because you lost your job. God, see, God remains God no matter what. When you have that mindset, God comes and makes his abode in you. Somebody gets in me. Not serving God for what you can get. No. You ask, when you serve God for what you can give, you become invaluable. There are many people that are serving God for what they can get. That is why they are running from pillar to post. Looking for miracle. When in reality, God wants you to be a miracle worker. Did somebody get what I'm saying? If you're watching me online, say, I hear you, sir. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Discover the secret place of God, which is relationship. Relationship. When your relationship with God is not affected based on your finance, based on the things you don't have or the things you have, you have grown. You have grown. And God, look at what Jesus said in the book of John chapter 4. He says, thank you Lord. He said, God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. John 4, 24. God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. You must worship God in spirit and in truth. How do you worship God in spirit? You must be spiritual. Tell your neighbor, be spiritual. The Bible says those that are spiritual mind the things of the spirit. Those that are carnal mind the things of the flesh. When you are carnal, you cannot worship God. Is somebody getting me? Because you, are, you will be more focused on the things of the flesh. So if you want to worship God, you must do so in the spirit. You must be spiritual. The secret of God's kingdom. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Radha labade kosh ikarada shadia. Matthew chapter 6. Verse 33. He said, But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. 
and all these things shall be added unto you. Number two, you must be a kingdom seeker. Who is a kingdom seeker? A kingdom seeker is a person that looks for what he can do for God. They are serving God for what they can do for God. That's a kingdom seeker. Not serving God for what they can get from God. Is somebody getting me? Be a kingdom seeker. A kingdom seeker. Is one who serves God. For what he or she can do for God. And not Necessarily, not necessarily what God can do for them. A kingdom seeker. When you are a kingdom seeker, you become God's favorite. When you are a kingdom seeker, you become God's favorite. When they say a, a thousand shall fall by this side and ten thousand by this side, but it shall not come near you. That is talking of a kingdom seeker. Is somebody get what I'm saying? They are not in the kingdom for what they can get. If it's only about what they can get from God. They will not even bother being in church. But they are in the church, they are in the kingdom for what they can do for God. Every day they are looking out for what they can do for him. When you carry this mindset, you attract favor of God. Because God knows that every little dime he puts in your hand will be for his kingdom. God is seeking for such people to promote Somebody getting me? Not people that in the morning, Father, give me this. In the afternoon, Father, give me this. In the night, Father, give me this. When you are, a, a, even when you have a friend, listen, let's, for example, you have a friend. Every time this friend comes to you, he is bringing something to you. Gifts. Sometimes job opportunities. Anytime he's calling you, he's asking you, I just got this job opportunity. They are paying 500K. Would you like to work? When he visits you, he's bringing goodies to you. Will you play with such kind of friend? You won't play with such a kind of friend. Why? Because they are... Every time they meet you, they leave you better than where they met you, how they met you. Is somebody getting me? Friends like that, you don't joke with them. That is what we are talking, a kingdom seeker. 
Look at what God talked about Moses, uh, 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 Abraham. He said, Genesis chapter 18. Let's look at Genesis chapter 18. He said, shall I hide anything from Abraham, seeing that he will become a great nation, and he will command his house after me? Let's, let me show you. Genesis 18 from verse 17. And the Lord said, Genesis 18, 17. And the Lord said, Shall I hide from Abraham that thing which I do? Seeing that Abraham shall surely become a great and mighty nation. And all the nations of the earth shall be blessed in him. For I know him that he will command his children <coughs> and his household after him. And they shall keep the way of the Lord to do justice and judgment, that the Lord may bring upon Abraham that which he had spoken of him. He said, can I keep from Abraham? Seeing that this guy will become a great nation. And this one, I know him, that he will command his house to follow after me. Shall I hide from him the things that I do? God said no. Why? Because Abraham was a seeker. Was a kingdom seeker. Was a kingdom promoter. When God promised Abraham to bless him with a child, and it was not forthcoming, Abraham looked at his servant and said, God, this guy, let me just reward him with my inheritance. Eliezer, let me reward him with my inheritance. Let him be my heir, rather. God looked at Abraham and said, this man is... Is, this man is too unique. A man that wants to give all he has worked for to a total stranger. So no, 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 no. This man, you you deserve the next generation. Is somebody get what I'm saying? <laughs> if it was some people, they would say no. I must do everything possible to make sure I have a child. How can I work? All my life's work, I give it to a stranger. It's not possible. I will not try it. And yet, Abraham was saying, Father, let this stranger become my heir so that he can inherit my properties. Abraham was not after material things. That is what I'm saying. He was not interested in material things. How can you open your eyes wide and you want to carry all that you have worked for? For the rest of your life, billions and give to a stranger just because he's working for you. And you see nothing wrong in it. And God saw that attitude. God said, this is what I'm looking for. If I bless this one and give him a child, he will command his house to follow after me. There are people that have people working for them for years and yet They've not seen any benefit apart from the chicken change they are receiving as pay. People like that, God will not even allow their generation to, to, to pass before all those blessings will disappear. Is somebody get what I'm saying? People that are working for you are suffering. You are the only one enjoying you are the only one advancing in life. What kind of thing is that? That is selfishness. That is wickedness. Did somebody get what I'm saying? God 
God said, I know this man. He's a kingdom seeker. He will command his family to follow after me. Stop serving God for what you can get. Start serving God for what you can do for God. That is one of the secrets of the kingdom. Check the scriptures. Everyone that made an impact in life, they were kingdom seekers. They were not serving God for what they can get. They were all, always at, in, on, at God's service for what they can give. May you be a kingdom seeker from today. I say, may you be a kingdom seeker from today. I say, may you be a kingdom seeker from today. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Number one, I said, discover the secret place. Create an unwavering relationship with God. A relationship that does not count on material things. Hallelujah. Number two, become a kingdom seeker. Seek out for the things you can do for God. Serve God for the things you can do for him rather than for the things he can do for you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. When you have these things in place, your life will take a new turn. Number three. Let's look at the scripture. Matthew chapter 13. Verse 44. We are understanding the secret of the kingdom. When you have this secret, you can manipulate God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Let me show you a scripture. Let me show you a scripture. First, before we come to uh, Matthew chapter 14, uh, 13, verse 44. Let me show you. I told you, I said, when you have these things at your disposal, you can manipulate God. Thank you, Lord. Isaiah chapter 38. Let's look at it. Isaiah 38. We will see what you are talking about. It says, in those days, Isaiah 38 verse 1. In those days was Ezekiah sick unto death. And Isaiah, the prophet, the son of Amos, came unto him and said unto him, Thus saith the Lord, set thine house in order, for thou shalt die and not live. Then Ezekiah, verse 2, turned his face towards the wall and prayed unto the Lord and said, Remember now, O Lord, I beseech thee, how I have walked before thee in truth and with a perfect heart and have done that which is good in thy sight. Praise God. Now let's look at what he said and, and decipher and analyze it. He said, Remember now, O Lord, I beseech thee, how I have walked before thee in truth and with a perfect heart. Talking about relationship. Can somebody get what I'm saying? Relationship. And I have done that which is good in thy sight. Number two, kingdom seeker. Is somebody getting me? He said, I have, I, have, I have walked before thee. I have walked with you in truth and with a perfect heart and have done that which is good in thy sight. I have favored your kingdom. Now, let's look at verse, what happened next. And it says, and Ezekiah wept so. Verse 4, then came the word of the Lord to Isaiah, saying, Go and say to Ezekiah, Thus say the Lord, the God of David thy father, I have heard thy prayer. 
I have seen thy tears. Behold, I will add unto thy days 15 years. Can you see that? Can you see how you manipulated God? That is what we are talking about. When you have these things in place, you can manipulate God in your favor. Is somebody getting me? There are people that pray and yet nothing happens. Prayer, not answer. They pray, prayer, not answer. Even when they're in a difficult situation, they pray, prayer, not answer. It's because they lack these things. No relationship. Their relationship is relationship of bread and butter when it is good. Only when it is, they serve God only when it is convenient. They don't serve God in their inconvenience. And someone gets in me. Number two, they are not kingdom seekers. They only look at what God can do for them. They don't look at for what they can do for God. Hezekiah said, remember the things that I, that I have done, the good things I have done in your sight. How I have made sacrifices here and there for the sake of the kingdom. God said, no, 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 no. I cannot allow a man of sacrifice to die. Is somebody getting me? May you become a kingdom seeker. I said, may you become a kingdom seeker. May you become a kingdom seeker. In the mighty name of Jesus. There are people that just go up about. They are going to church just for what God can do. Because they have a long list of prayer points that have not been answered. That's why they are going to church. The day all those prayer points are marked, ticked one after the other, answered one after the other, immediately they are all answered. They don't have anything to do with God. You call them, hello, what's happening? Why are you not in church? They'll tell you I'm very busy. They have been praying, asking God for a job. Immediately a job comes to your tent to Israel. You will never see them. You call them, hello, how are you? Say, I, I, don't worry, I'll call you back. I'm very busy now. Even on Sunday, they don't have any time for God. They, they, they don't have regard for the man of God. They don't have regard for the word of God. They begin to get new revelations on tithes and offering. Hallelujah. How they should, uh, uh, if they don't even pay tithes, God does not even need their money. But when they were broke, they were poor, there was no revelation like that. Now God has blessed them. They now know that even if they don't pay tight, it is nothing. Tight is a, is a thing of choice. It's a thing of the heart. It is now they know that they should give their tight to, beg, uh, to beggars and uh, homeless children, orphans. They tell you, after all, our Bible said that we should give our tight to orphans or the uh, homeless. But when they are poor, they are bringing the tithe to the house of God. Now they are rich. That's when they know that they will take tithe to orphanage. Must it be that it must it be the tithe they will take to orphanage? Why not take a, a, a good substantial amount of money and go and give the orphanage? Must it be your tithe? Must it be your offering? The one that's supposed to go to the house of God to propagate the uh, gospel of the kingdom. You, you want to take it to orphanage. But when you were broke, there was nothing like that. Now that you are rich, you now have new revelation. You now look for a big church to attend. The man of God that helped you, that was praying for you day in, day out. Seeking the face of God because of you. Now you are rich. It's not too small to pastor you. You are not looking for oh, you're the big man of God. Big man talk to big man. 
Hallelujah. It is because they are not seekers of God. They are only seeking for blessing. Hallelujah. May you be a seeker of God. In the mighty name of Jesus. May you be a seeker of God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Listen. Matthew chapter 13, verse 44. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto treasure hid in a field, the which when a man had found, he hid it. And for the joy thereof, go it and sell it all that he had, and buy it that field. Hallelujah. Now, this is another secret of the kingdom. Another secret of the kingdom. The kingdom of God belong to solution providers. The kingdom of God belong to hard workers. Some say hard workers. Number three. I'm cleaning this. The kingdom of God belong to hard workers. Not lazy people. If you are lazy, the kingdom of God is not for you. If you are a person that falls down and waits for things to happen to you, the kingdom of God is not for you. It's there in the scriptures. Listen, Matthew 13, verse 44. It says, again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto treasure hid in a field. When treasures are hid in a field, it means it's not on the surface. Is somebody gets what I'm saying? The which when a man had found, for you to find something inside the ground, will you not dig? The kingdom is for deep seekers. Deep seekers. Someone say deep seekers. Deep seekers. The kingdom of God is for pathfinders. Listen, the kingdom of God is for hard workers, deep seekers. And pathfinders. The kingdom of God is for people that make things happen. People that are always on the lookout to make things happen. If you are lazy, you have no place in the kingdom. Jesus said, my father walketh, he that to I walk. Lazy people have no future in the kingdom. People that give up easily have no place in the kingdom. The kingdom is for relent people that are relentless. People that keep digging until they find. People that stop at nothing until they achieve their goal. Not people that sit down and fold their hands and wait for things to happen. No. If you sit down and fold your hands and wait for things to happen, the kingdom will pass you by. And somebody gets what I'm saying? Luke chapter 16, verse 16. He said, from the time of John the Baptist 
till now, the kingdom of God is preached. And every man presses into it. Everyone is pressing. So if you are not pressing, you'll be left out. Is somebody getting what I'm saying? If you are not pressing, you'll be left out. Luke 16, verse 16. Luke 16, verse 16. Luke 16, verse 16. From the time of John the Baptist till now, the kingdom of God is preached. And everyone presseth, every man presseth into it. Only those that are deep seekers and pathfinders find their way in the kingdom. Only those that are deep seekers, hard workers and pathfinders find their way in the kingdom. See, as thou a man diligent in his business, he shall stand before kings and not before mean men. See, as thou a man diligent. You must be a diligent seeker. Hebrews chapter uh, 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 11, verse 6. What did the Bible say? Hebrews 11, verse 6. The Bible says, God is a rewarder of those. He that cometh to God must believe that he is. And that is a rewarder of those that diligently seek him. Those that diligently seek God, those are the people that find God. Did somebody get what I'm saying? If you are waiting for things to happen. The kingdom of God is not for you. People that will go out of their way to make things happen. Those are the people that God is looking out for. Thank you, Lord Jesus. He says, the kingdom of heaven is like unto treasure hid in a field. Listen. The treasure is inside of you. You must seek it. You must dig deep. Jesus told in Luke chapter 5, he told Peter, he said, the reason why you people are suffering is because you are playing safe. You are playing safe. Launch out to the deep for a catch. Launch out. Go to the deep until you put your life on the line. Nothing works. Until you say enough is enough. If I perish, I perish. Those are the people that find the kingdom. The, Jesus said, He said, He that loves his life will lose it. Is somebody getting me? For he that will lose his life for the sake of the kingdom shall find it. So the kingdom of God is for people that put their life on the line. The kingdom belongs to those that will put their life on the line. They say, if I perish, let me die. Even if it is death, let me die this death. Those are the people that do not, that don't die. But those people that are playing safe, what happens? Those are the people that die. Did somebody get what I'm saying? Peter was suffering, smelling poverty with his, using his eye to see some, see Shege. Financial shege. He said, we have toiled all night. It is not about how long. It is how well. Is somebody getting what I'm saying? Peter said, we have toiled all night. Fishing by the riverside. Fishing by the bank of the river. We have toiled all night. Jesus said, if you like, fish by the riverside. From now to the next 200 years, you will still get the same result. What you are looking for is not by the riverside. What you are looking for is in the deep. Now, launch. Go where people are afraid to go. Do what people are afraid to do. Is somebody getting me? That is where the kingdom is. Stop 
playing safe. The kingdom is not for people that play safe. He said, "Ye shall seek me and find me when ye search for me with all your heart. You can't search for God with all your heart and not find God. You cannot search for God for the kingdom with all your heart and not find the kingdom. Matthew 7 verse 7, he says, Seek, uh, ask and it shall be given unto you. Seek and ye shall find. Knock and the door shall be opened unto you. Hallelujah. Number one, ask. That's the first level. It is the ordinary level. There are people that are supposed to graduate from the asking level to the seeking level. But they still remain at the asking level. So their blessings, their breakthroughs are very small because they refuse to graduate. They refuse to move higher to the seeking level. He said, when you ask, and it is not forthcoming, move to the next level, to the next di dimension, which is the seeking dimension. Somebody getting me? Move to the seeking dimension. Elijah told Elisha, he said this thing, when Elisha told him, he said, I want a double portion of your anointing, your spirit to be upon me. Elijah told him, he said, this thing you have asked is a hard thing. But if you see me when I'm being taken, that is not the asking dimension. He said, when you graduate to the seeking dimension, see me. If you see me when I'm being taken, then it shall be granted. Is somebody getting me? And what happened? He told Elisha, he said, stay here, I'm going to better. What did Elisha tell him? He said, as long as God liveth, I will never leave you. He understands that what he's looking for is not in the asking dimension. He has asked, but it was, it was not given. He has to seek for it. Is somebody getting me? He followed Elijah to Bethel. Only God knows how many days they stayed there. And the sons of the prophet met Eli uh, uh, Elisha and told him, do you know that your master will be taken from you this day? He said, I know. Keep, hold your peace. I'm focused. I'm seeking something. Don't distract me. Did somebody get what I'm saying? They moved. Eli Elijah, listen. Blessings don't rest on people just like that. You must seek for it. Anointing does not rest on people just like that. You must seek for it. That's why Elijah told Elisha, he said, this thing that you have asked, you have asked a hard thing. It will not just fall on you. You have to seek for it. That is why he told him, he said, stay here. I'm going to Jordan, to uh, Jericho. What did Elijah, Elisha tell Elisha? He said, as long as my Lord liveth, I will never leave you. And he followed him to Jericho. In Jericho, the man of God told Elisha, he said, stay here. I'm going to Jordan. He said, no. As long as my Lord liveth, I will never leave you. He followed him to Jordan. And he saw Elijah took the mantle. Listen, seeking opens you up to revelation. Somebody say revelation. It's, it opens you to secret of how things are done. It was in Jordan that Elisha witnessed how to part the Red Sea. Is somebody getting me? Elijah took his mantle and smote the waters without saying a word, and the waters divided, and they walked on dry ground and crossed the Jordan. While they were moving on the other side, the chariot of fire came and took Elijah. And Elijah cried out, my father, my father, the chariot of Israel and the husband thereof. And the mantle fell. Somebody get to what I'm saying? 
and he picked the mantle. There are things you may never know how to do until you witness them yourself. Is somebody getting me? The Bible says he took the mantle, he tore his clothes. He tore his clothes when he picked the mantle. And he went back to the Jordan River. And he took the mantle. And he said, where is the Lord God of my father, Elijah? And he hit the water. Because the mantle answered to Elijah. And the same mantle was in his hand. It answered to Elijah. And the water parted. Did somebody get what I'm saying? That, you have been praying and praying and crying because of one thing. It is not necessary. Enter the next level. The next level is to seek. Somebody say seek. Stop crying. Stop praying. It is now time to discover. Discover for yourself. Thank you, Lord Jesus. When you seek, you will find. When you seek, you will find. To him that seek, you shall find. Somebody get what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Until you seek, you will not find. And then when you seek, and that leads you to the door, you must knock. The door means that there is somebody inside that will grant you access. Is somebody getting me? The door is a man. Is somebody getting what I'm saying? The third level is the door. The door is a man. There are places... There are things you will never have access to until you have access to the man that have access to that door. Jesus. Matthew chapter 13, verse 45. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto a merchant man seeking goodly pearls. Is somebody getting me? Can you, can you hear that again? Seeking goodly pearls. Who, when he had found one pearl of great price, went and sold all that he had and bought it. Hallelujah. This is the kingdom. The kingdom is measured in value. Someone say value. Someone say value. Value. He said it is like a man seeking what? Goodly pearls, who when he had found one pearl of great price, went and sold all that he had. You must value the kingdom like a man seeking goodly pearls. Hallelujah. I want to clean number four. Sorry. The kingdom of God is measured in the value 
you bring into it. Hallelujah. Matthew 13, 45. A man seeking goodly pearls. And when he found one of great price, the Bible says he went and sold all that he had to possess that one pearl. Because he knows that that one pearl is the answer to his life's struggle. Is somebody getting me? When you seek for the kingdom like that, you will find it. He sold all that he had to secure that one pair. Because he sees that one pair as the answer to his life's challenges. The kingdom values a man based on the value you bring into it. The kingdom of God is, is measured in the value you bring into it. It values a man based on the value you bring into it. It values a man based on the value you bring into it. The kingdom of God values a man based on the value you bring into it. If you bring a billion dollar value into the kingdom, the kingdom reciprocates a billion dollar value on your life, on you, on your head. Is somebody getting me? Jesus said, if you confess me before men, I will confess you before my Father in heaven. So the same value you bring into the kingdom, the same value shall be given unto you. Luke chapter 6 verse 38. Give and it shall be given unto you a good measure pressed down, shaken together and running over. Shall men give unto your bosom with the same measure you meet, it will be measured back to you again. Can you see that? The same measure. That's the secret of the kingdom. That's the secret of the kingdom. The same measure. There are people that put in one naira and they expect 100 million. They are nothing but crooks. Luke 6 verse 38. You wonder why you pray and you are not receiving answers. It's because you lack value in the kingdom. There are people that don't even pray and they, they receive answers. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Let me get a scripture. Look at Look at Shalabaliku Shagada. The Bible says, While you yet call, I will answer. Let me get you the word.
there are people they are they operate in the um in the uh, this thing. They operate in the um, Jeremiah 33, verse 3 dimension. Somebody getting me? Jeremiah 33, verse 3. It says, Call unto me, and I will answer thee, and show you mighty things, which thou knowest not. Nobody so. But there are people. It says, in the book of Isaiah, I want to get it now. Say, while you yet call, I will answer. Let me show you. Isaiah 65, verse 24. Isaiah 65, verse 24. It says, And it shall come to pass that before they call, I will answer. And while they are yet speaking, I will hear. Can you see that? But there are people, if you go to uh, verse 3, he says, Call unto me, I will answer you, and show you great and mighty things which thou knowest not. That is a dimension. Somebody get to me. There are people that before they come, God answer. Before they call, God answers. Did somebody get what I'm saying? Because it is in levels. The kingdom values a man based on the value you bring into it. When you don't value the kingdom, the kingdom will not value you. When you value the kingdom, the kingdom will value you. This is the secret of the kingdom. The, the, the same measure you measure, you give, the same measure shall come back to you again. What, Galatians chapter let me show you Galatians I think chapter 5 no not Galatians 5 6 verse 7 he said be not deceived God is not mocked for whatsoever a man soweth that shall he also reap hallelujah With what you plant it will return back to you Jesus has spent it out. Give and it shall be given unto you. So there are people that have given nothing and yet they want everything from the kingdom. They have given nothing but they want everything. Is somebody getting what I'm saying? It does not work like that. This is the secret of the kingdom. This is the secret of the kingdom. Did somebody get what I'm saying? Take note of these four things. This is the secret of the kingdom. of God belongs to hard workers, deep seekers, and pathfinders. So if you, don't, if you don't fall inside this category, the kingdom does not know you. You must develop yourself into this category if you want to see the hand of God in your life. Everyone watching me on YouTube, on Facebook right now, this is the secret of the kingdom. When 
God said, I will show mercy to whom I will show mercy. And compassion to whom I will show compassion. He's talking about this four set of people. When you fall inside this category, you are no longer an ordinary person in the sight of God. God takes your matter very serious. God takes your matter very serious. God takes your matter very serious. God takes your matter very seriously. Work hard to find yourself in one of these categories. And you see the mercy of God operating in your life in an unusual dimension. God's mercy is God's choice. You cannot separate God's mercy from God's choice. Somebody gets what I'm saying. When God has made up his mind on you, he has made up his mind. Hallelujah. So number five. Number five. The mercy of God. When you understand God, all you need to do is to seek for his mercy. And by seeking for his mercy, you, you are not a lazy person. If you are a lazy person, you will never have God's mercy. A lazy person turns back when it matters. Lazy people always love shortcuts. Somebody gets in me. They turn back. They cannot put in the time. They cannot take the risk for the kingdom. So they turn back when it matters. For such people, God has no, no mercy for them. No mercy. When, you, when it matters most and you stand for God, God will stand for you. That's why he said, he said, Jesus said, he said, those that confess me before my father, I will confess them before, those that confess me before men, I will confess them before my father and before the angels. Is somebody getting me? When it matters, when you are in danger, when you are in need, God will, Jesus will mention you before his father in heaven. Why? Because you are not a lazy person. You take your time to stand, stand for God. There are people that every day they ask him, Father, show me mercy. God is asking, why should I show you mercy? Give me a reason. Do you stand for the kingdom? Do you invest in the kingdom? What is your... In what is your, 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 your job description in the kingdom? What value are you bringing into the kingdom? You that join unbelievers to castigate the kingdom of God. You that join unbelievers to castigate men of God. Is that the value you are bringing into the kingdom and yet you want God to show you mercy? It does not work like that. He said, touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. You don't even obey the word of God. And yet you want the mercy of God. Hallelujah. Right now we are going to pray. We are going to pray for yourself. Father, these secrets I have discovered, help me to seek after your kingdom. Help me to bring value to your kingdom. Help me to be a hard worker, to be a deep seeker, to be a pathfinder in your kingdom. Help me to discover the secret place. Help me to develop an un unwavering relationship with you. A relationship that is not meant on bread and butter. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to talk to God. Reba Lagada Gada Yagada Araba Dabadiga Dayagada Lebredi Dadia 
Lord, help me to be a kingdom seeker. Help me to be a kingdom seeker. Rabadabada, 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 Shalabadi Gadaya. Open your mouth, pray for yourself, pray for yourself, pray for yourself. Whatever that is making you to be a lazy Christian, let that thing catch fire. Let that attitude, that thing that makes you turn away from God when things are tough, open your mouth and begin to rebuke it. In the name of Jesus, disconnect yourself from it. Lebra da ga da ga da, shada la badia, bele telegede, libro logos ki baradia, zia mande koshiaga, raba la ga da yaga da, shabade ka zaladia, riko telebelia, reba la ga da yaga da ba, shabade beledia, nende kush ikarada shiaga da. Thank you, Father. It is done. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Blessed be your holy name. I decree a new, a fresh grace upon you. In the mighty name of Jesus. This grace will make you to bring value to the kingdom. In the name of Jesus. From today, the anointing to be a deep seeker a pathfinder, a hard worker in the kingdom rest upon you. In the mighty name of Jesus. From today, nothing will affect your relationship with God. In the mighty name of Jesus. You will grow from strength to strength, from glory to glory. In the mighty name of Jesus. I baptize you in the baptism of service. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, the Spirit of God. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. It is done. Put your hands together for Jesus. Everyone watching me on YouTube, on Facebook, you are blessed. This anointing is upon you now. From today, your life will never remain the same again. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Right now, take note of all we have I've taught you this morning and see how your life is going to transform. Praise God. Hallelujah. Right now, I want to take our offering. Please, everyone watching me on YouTube, on Facebook, especially on YouTube, check the description of this video. You will see all our account details. Use it for your tithe. Pay your tithe using our account details. Check the description. Hallelujah. Check the description box. Of, the, of this live broadcast, you will see all our account numbers and all our details. Use it and put your offering, give your tithes, ministry support, whatever you want to support us with. God bless you as we propagate the kingdom of God around the world. Support us. Be a kingdom seeker. Bring value to the River Anointing Church of All Nations by supporting our work. God bless you in Jesus' name. Everyone here, lift up your offering in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare every offering blessed and sanctified in Jesus' name. You'll never know a downtime. The Lord I serve surprises you from this day henceforth. Give you mighty testimony in the name of Jesus. Change your story in Jesus' name. Everyone watching me, I declare the blessing of God upon your finances in the mighty name of Jesus. You will never know a down time in the mighty name of Jesus. From today, whatever you put your hand to do shall prosper in the name of Jesus. I bless you. I bless you. I declare new doors of job, promotion, lifting, supernatural blessing, supernatural finance, miracle money rest upon you in the name of Jesus. I bless you. This week is blessed for your sake. Everything you do from this day shall prosper in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. It is done. God bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So give your offerings. And my, my phone number is there on WhatsApp. You can direct, contact me. Give your tithes. Contact me. Hallelujah. My WhatsApp detail is there. God bless you. My emails are there. Hallelujah. 
all the payment platforms are there in the description box of this video. God bless you. Hallelujah. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Please, while you're giving, you will see the River Anointing Church of All Nations. The River Anointing Church of All Nations. Or Abraham Prosper Rich Ayubai Pride. Hallelujah. Any account that does not bear my name or the River Anointing Church of All Nations is not part of us. Hallelujah. Please don't give anything to such accounts. Anybody that calls you and they tell you that they are with us, they are part of us. Hallelujah. And they give you an account number to give. And you don't see the River Anointing Church of All Nations or Prosper or this uh, uh, YouTube channel account. Prosper, Rich, I buy pray the Abraham. You don't see it. That name on the account. They know it is not, it is a fraud. It is 419. Hallelujah. God bless you. Give and receive your blessings in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. We are closing now. Let's be on our feet. Everyone be on your feet. In the name of Jesus, I declare the blessing of God upon your life. Amen. This week, you're going out and your coming in is blessed. In the mighty name of Jesus, I declare the grace of God upon your life. In the name of Jesus. Arrow of accident shot against you. I fire them back to sender. Arrow of death shot against you. I prophesy. It is not your portion. Back to sender in sevenfold in Jesus' name. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Everyone sick, I declare you healed now. In the name of Jesus. The favor of God is upon your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every door that was shut against you, they are opened now. In the name of Jesus. Whatever was not working from today, by the power of the anointing, begins to work now. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Put your hand on your chest. If you are watching this video now, Put your hand on your chest and say after me, say, by the grace of God upon my life, we are taking the river confession now. Say, by the grace of God upon my life. As a seed of Abraham in Christ Jesus. And as a son of the river anointing. According to the prophetic order of Prosper Aru A. Abraham, the born prophet to which I belong. I decree and I declare I am unstoppable I am untouchable I am undeniable I am irresistible I am heavily defended I don't give up I don't give in I succeed regardless of prevailing circumstances because the mercy of God is speaking favor for me today. I am a wealth partner with God, an addicted soul winner. I am a symbol of love, spiritual authority, and excellence. I am a global figure, heaven's treasure, taking over nations and kingdoms for my Lord and Savior. Jesus Christ, I will make heaven. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's share the grace in fellowship. Let the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and about us now forevermore. Amen. Surely, God's goodness and mercy, riches and wealth, signs and wonders shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we shall dwell in the eyes of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. If you are watching me online, shake at least three persons, tell that person, I'm a history maker. I'm a world changer. I am a son of the river anointing. If you are a lady, say, I am a daughter of the river anointing. I'm a history maker. I'm a world changer. I am a son of the river anointing. I'm a history maker. I'm a world changer. I'm a son of the river anointing. You people are disturbing you. No, we are doing uh, live streaming. You'll be jumping up and down. No problem. You will stop jumping up and down. Eh? You're distracting me and you're making noise. Is it good? Is it good? 
Uh -huh. Don't be disturbing your daddy like that. Focus and listen to the word of God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It's all right. God bless you. God bless you, everyone. See you next week, Sunday by 9.30 a.m. GMT plus one. God bless you. Bye-bye.